So I will put the magic right on so that you see I do it. Very often I don't put it on, I just uh, put it on before the show. And then uh, there was a little bit argument sometimes. They say, why didn't you put the magic right on? I put it on all the time. Without magic right, I don't know how the devil it would work. Maybe I should explain it again. We paint and we never explain why we do what we are doing. The, in the beginning, <coughs> when I start painting, I always thought you have to mix the colors on your palette. Yeah, that's what it is, what you learn in school or whatever. Uh, common sense, you put the white on here first, and then you put the colors you want, that gray or that particular brown, or, and you mix it on the palette, and then you put it on your canvas. But by all the time mixing my paint, I learned, God, you put always white on. Because you cannot make that dark darker or blue more bluer, or red more redder, you see, when, when you see the colors, or yellow more yellower, you cannot, every color needs white in order to mix it. And then I had a brainstorm one day, I say, why not put that white right on the canvas and mix on that almighty canvas? I have seen that sometime on TV, but it's good to repeat it sometime. This, you know, the philosophy of this wonderful technique. This technique, I tell you, that's like sunshine. It is, uh, uh, it makes it so easy to live. It makes it so easy to create because you, you, you need a whiteness always there. See, and, and uh, this technique naturally is so different than, than you ever have uh, learned in every school. Any, uh, I never have seen a school that tells you put the white on and then uh, but usually it was always mixed on the palette. So that's why this technique is absolutely different than anyone before me. Okay, so let's make an interesting sky, maybe a, a very simple. It is not what I paint. It is, I would love to see you learn the technique and get very familiar with, with your paint. You see, my paint, I buy a paint that is very, very thick and strong. You see, when... when uh, I can turn it around, and the philosophy is again, a thinner paint will stick on a thicker paint. That means with other words, I have to have a thicker paint. Otherwise, I can't do what I want. See, beginning artist, what wants to paint wet and wet, wet and wet is a very dangerous technique because you, uh, in the beginning, you don't know what the paint means, you buy the paint what you can just get on the shelf, red, blue, green, and if it is a thin paint on the thin paint, you are a mud maker. Most artists, when they start painting wet and wet, making mud, and they wonder why the devil I make mud. And you see me being so clean because of the consistency of that paint what I always buy. You see, the paint, I paint on top of the paint. I don't paint into the paint. See, there's a big, 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 big difference. I should talk about it the whole hour sometime in order to convince you <coughs> this, there is a difference between this technique and all the other techniques. See, the other techniques, you let it dry, go over, let it dry, go over, and you can repeat it 10 times. And you're not the head. You are not better than what I do. That's the funny part. You think because you worked so much on that canvas. You know, you think, because I worked so much, it got to be better. It is not. You know, lightning, it goes vroom, and that's it. And it has done the work. And that's the same creative power. You cannot create in weeks and weeks and doodle around and doodle around. You have something in your mind, and you want to unload it yesterday. I want to unload it any time. And any means, any means how I can unload it is wonderful for me. You see? And I found a way to unload it, you know, to, to make it happen in a short time. It's not what I show you here. When I sell my paintings, they are not this kind of a painting, really. They are different. I have a bit more time. They give me 28 minutes here. I only want to show you a technique, how, how to do it. But when you really get into that, you spend a bit more time. 
and uh, and sometimes I let it dry. Some pl something works better when it's dry and you go over it again. Certain highlights you get it maybe a bit better. You see, and if you get it all together this way, you will grow and grow, and you become the artist you want to be, a powerful artist.